All right, so the Green Mile features two major antagonists, Percy Wetmore and William Billy the Kid Wharton. And the question could be asked, which one of them actually poses more danger to those around them? Who is the more dangerous character in the story? So, danger can come in many forms. Danger can be defined as being able or likely to cause harm or injury, likely to cause problems or have adverse consequences. So two quotes from the book so far that we've experienced revolving these two characters. First, you could see that in his eyes clear as day and it made him even more dangerous. A guy like Percy doesn't even know himself what he means to do from minute to minute and second to second. That was spoken by Paul Edgecombe in part two, chapter seven. And then we have, he's what you like to call a problem child, crazy, wild, and proud of it. You will have to slap his nose a time or two, I guarantee you that, but be careful when you do it. This man just doesn't care. It was written by Curtis Anderson about William Morton in a note to Paul Edgecombe in part one, chapter six. So when you think about which one of the characters more, more dangerous, clearly they both pose a danger to the people around them to the peace and tranquility on the Green Mile. But we think about danger. What makes a person dangerous? What is it about someone that will make, will make somebody consider them dangerous? So take some time, take a few moments, and in the, in the white space at the top there, put it in anything about someone that you think that will make them dangerous and kind of try to think outside the box, not just so much, so, so much to somebody that um, can cause physical harm to somebody, but think about um, how can somebody be dangerous to someone else mentally? And maybe it's not so much dangerous in a quote unquote bad way. Like think about things like in sports or in a political arena or any, even in music or what have you. How can somebody be dangerous? How can somebody be dangerous to the other people around you? Think about sports. Um, there's some people that who would consider dangerous, but not necessarily bad for them to be dangerous. LeBron James could be considered to be dangerous. What makes him dangerous to other people around him? And then after you've done that, take some time to think about who do you think is dangerous? Again, in the white space there, put in some people that you think are dangerous. And again, we're not just talking about in a bad way. But again, like I said, sports, politically, who's dangerous? Who causes us? Who's a threat to other people? And again, a threat doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing per se. But in your opinion, who do you think is dangerous and why? What makes a person dangerous? But then getting back to our two characters, what you're going to have to do at the end of this week is you're going to have to write an essay where you argue which one of the two between Percy Wetmore and William Morton are the most dangerous in the story. Peace and order on the Green Mile, as we've learned so far, are obtained through a delicate balance of compassion and respect. Paul Edgecombe runs death row a bit differently than you might expect. He goes about the business of treating the prisoners with respect, hoping that they will do the same. He generally takes a more compassionate tact and way with, with the prisoners than trying to be a real hard-nosed guy, beating him over the head, that type of thing. He tries to talk to him, tries to deal with him emotionally rather than, emotionally and mentally rather than physically. But uh, while Bill and Percy, they go out of their way to disrupt that peace and order on the mile. So based on the evidence from the story, again, which one of them do you think is the most dangerous? Clearly, they are both dangerous in their own way. And by the time we get to the end of book three, you'll have a pretty clear picture of how dangerous the both of them can be. And then you have to write an essay, about four paragraphs, that argue which one you feel is the most dangerous and why. So as you listen to the story this week, as you listen to book three this week, um, you should be taking notes, keeping track of the different things that... William and Percy say the different things that they do, the different means in which the people around them react to them, how how their actions um, cause reactions in other people, and to make a determination, which one do you think is more dangerous? And once you've done that, you need to um, 
make sure you have enough evidence to say why you feel the person is the most dangerous. And also don't forget that you need to come up with a counterclaim. Whichever one you pick, you need to be able to argue why the other person is not. What would, what would be the strongest argument that someone would have for the other person? You need to be able to shoot that down again as well. So you, could, so you need to make sure you have a strong claim of why the person that you choose is dangerous. And again, make sure that you have um, a, a, a good argument against the counterclaim for the other person. So again, which one is more dangerous? Percy Wetmore or William Billy the Kid Wharton?